Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be attempting the new finger bearer boss as Yuji Itadori in Jujutsu Infinite Update 5. But before starting this video guys, I do wanna say that I'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you smash the subscribe button and get me to 5k. So yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. And here we are guys in Jujutsu Infinite's main lobby. So today I'm gonna be doing the new finger bearer boss. So if we go to bosses right here, as you can see, finger bearer level 60 plus has been added to the game and yeah so in today's video we are going to be doing this boss on the hardest difficulty which is nightmare but yeah guys before we actually start doing the finger bearer boss i do need to do the correct build now for this build i do want to use the season one build i don't want to use the manga build to make him more canon so yeah first thing first let's go to stats refund it and yeah we do need to get divergent fist and second impact so let's go ahead and get that right now so here is divergent fist let's get that and then uh, second impact, let's get that as well. There we go. Now we need to get some strength skills as well, because as we all know, Yuji Tudori has them hands. So we're going to get triple kick, ego style, uh, uplift, and axe smash. And I think that's uh, enough for now. Now we definitely need to get black flashes, so we're going to get the sparks of black. Okay, here it is, the sparks of black. There we go. And I do want to increase my HP a little bit, but I can't get RCT because he doesn't learn that in season one. Okay, I think I'm going to get lock in as well. And then have a parry black flash to help us out. Total concentration as well, because why not? Uh, I think I'm just going to put the rest in focus, to be honest. Okay, so I'll put the rest into focus. Now, what should I do with the remaining? Um, I think I'll put it into HP. I'll put, like, parry focus on. Right, let's get this. And then here. And yeah, there we go. We have zero stat points now. So this is the build. Uh, I burn a little bit into HP. Uh, do keep in mind this is like the season one build because I do want to make it canon when he did actually fight the finger bearer boss. Uh, I did get the sparks of black as well. Uh, I got second impact and I got divergent fist and then I got triple kick, ego style, uplift and axe smash. So yeah guys that's the build that we're going to be using for the finger bearer boss and yeah let's go ahead and try this new boss out. So obviously we are going to be doing nightmare mode and I uh, do want to solo it and yeah let's uh, go inside and see what this is about. Alright guys, as you can see, we have spawned in, and damn, this map is actually so cold. This map looks clean, oh my god. But yeah, as you can see, here's the finger bearer boss. What's he doing? Let me, uh, let me back up, hold on, what is he doing? God damn, ah, my eyes, my eyes. Okay, he is stunned now. Let's do rising kick. Oh, that missed. What's he doing? Okay, he's throwing like, yo, he's throwing like these energy blasts, like heat blasts. Okay, let me touch that. There we go. Come back. Let's just uplift. M1, M1, M1. Oh. Is he doing Fuga? What the hell? What on God's green earth is that? Did he just do a Fuga on me? This ain't Sukuna. Uh, what happened? Oh, I got bugged out. Okay, let's use our Divergent Fist. There we go. Alright, let's throw some hands. Triple kick. Axe smash. Yes, sir. M1, 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 uplift, mm-hmm, eagle jump, oh, he's doing Fuga, what, is that Fuga or what, oh, this move is so, is that gonna get, I can that move is easy to avoid, uh, this is the first boss guy, so this is gonna be really easy, so, I'm probably gonna win first try, okay, uh, this is the key blast move, let me avoid this, alright, uh, there we go, Back smash M1 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 second impact Yeah that's Fuga I'm on fire Why does he have Fuga? Wait what's he is he charging up? What's that? Alright let's do a black flash on him that, I think I missed that but oh well <laughs> my bad Let's do talent strike X smash M1 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 Eagle drop Triple kick I dodge that, rush. Oh, this move though. Hold, oh, hold! Oh, that was damage! Oh my god, that was damage! I wanted to go with and just see the damage, but damn! Do you guys see my HP? From that one move. From that one move, I'm this low. Oh my god, please. I'm never doing that again. I don't know what I was thinking walking into that move, bro. Please don't hit me. Oh, God. I'm missing an arm, bro. Why is he... Is that, like, boosting his damage or something? Like, why is he rolling like that? 
No, 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 I'm so low, I'm so low. Holy, he does so much damage. Second impact. No, 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 that's that Fuga. Okay, I'm not, I'm not touching that, bro. Get me away from that move. That move right there shreds your HP, bro. <laughs> you did not want to get touched by that, I'll tell you that. Alright, there we go. Curse exercise. Um, that was really easy. Oh my god. Let's see what we get from the chest, though. I feel like with this boss, it's uh, really easy if you know what you're doing. But if you get touched by one move, like if you make one mistake, it's over for you, bro. Like, it's actually over. Ooh, curse fragment. Okay, I need to see what that does later on. Okay, let's get the last chest over here. Okay, we got another curse fragment. I wonder what that's for. Um, let's go on and replay that. I want to try this boss out again. Oh, guys, this is going to be my second time doing this boss. Um, I feel like with this boss, it's really easy for me. Because, like, obviously, I have, like, so much hours on this game. But I feel like for a first boss, for new players, this boss will be uh, quite challenging. But I've been playing this game for so long. So, yeah, this boss is, like, lie work to me, bro. The moves are like actually insane though, look at this. The moves are really cool. I still don't understand where he's getting Fuga from though. I don't even know if that's Fuga or not, but I don't know if he actually does have it or use it in the anime. Maybe I'm being dumb. But I'm not too sure. There we go. Oh, he's doing it again. That has to be Fuga, bro. I don't know what else that could be. Okay, let's go on a rush. There we go. M1, M1, M1. Divergent Fist. M1, M1, M1. Axe Smash. M1, M1, M1. Black Flash. There we go. This move right here is easy to dodge. Wait, how much damage does he do? Okay, that does like barely any damage. The only move that does damage is probably Fuga and then the one that like blinds you or whatever. And this move, I don't know what this does. I think it buffs him, I'm not sure. It doesn't do damage to me though. Let's use second impact. I mean, Divergent Fist. Second impact. Oh. Oh, the Fuga boss. Now, the figure doesn't even do that much damage. This move right here, though, oh my god, this shreds so much. But yeah, compared to like the Toji boss and the Dagon boss, uh, this is so much easier. But this is the first boss in the game that you can do. It's level, it's a level 60 boss. So yeah, obviously it's gonna be easy. It's still a cool boss, though. The effects are really cool. Same with the map as well. Backlash, and yeah, he's said There we go. Curse exercised. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this boss. So yeah, let's go ahead and teleport back. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the boss. Um, like I said, that boss is really easy for me because I've played the game like a lot. But as you can see, if you look here, Finger Barry is level 60. So this is the first boss that you can do in the game. So obviously it's going to be uh, easy. And the hardest difficulty is only level 195. So yeah, it's not that hard. So the boss may have seemed like boring when you've watched me play through it, but definitely give it a try out yourself when the game comes out. And yeah, speaking of release on the game, the devs did say that they are gonna make an announcement on plans for release. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully the game does come out this year, as intended. I believe they said that it was meant to come out uh, 2024, but anything can happen. But my guess is that the game is going to come out this year. So yeah, most likely December, the latest. But who knows, they might delay it, but I really doubt it. I don't think so. I think this game is ready for um, release. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I am going to be doing the Joga boss next. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, I'll see you all next time.